What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to recharge your AC system. Um, pretty simple. I went to Walmart, grabbed myself a little can. I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick. All right guys, so here is the AC refrigerant that we are gonna use. I already had this nozzle at the top. I ended up just buying these little small cans. You get more for your money this way, but you can buy these as well separately and then just use them on here. I went and got this at Walmart, so you can probably get this at any store that has like auto parts. But yeah, this is what we're gonna use and let me go ahead and show you guys how we're gonna use it. Also guys, this is what the can looks like when it's just by itself without the nozzle on it. So this is what you need to look for if you wanna use these small ones. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is pop open the hood. After that, we're gonna locate where we need to connect the hose to. Now that we located where we need to uh, attach the nozzle to, uh, for my car, it's right here. The next thing we gotta do is actually turn on the car. So we're gonna turn on the car and put the AC to full blast. That way, it actually cycles through with the AC refrigerant. So let me go ahead and turn on my car real quick. All right, guys, and I'm gonna make sure my AC button is on. I'm gonna put my AC all the way up to full blast. Make sure it's on the cold setting. Right now, my AC doesn't really have any AC refrigerant in there. Uh, so it is blowing hot. You have to take my word for it. Now that we got this pumping on full blast, let's go ahead and uh, actually start the process. So I do suggest getting gloves just in case you don't want to get any of this AC refrigerant onto your hands. So I'm going to go ahead and use these gloves real quick. All right, guys, so we're going to take this. Uh, all you have to do is twist it on and then it's a nozzle. You just got to click it into place and make sure it doesn't come off. The next step is to hold it sideways. Right here, it's on low. slowly every few seconds twist it upside down and then back to the sideways position and then slowly it should start filling up so it's already like in the filled position but it's on the lower side of filled so i'm gonna go ahead and use the other can that way it's like for sure in the middle because it's blowing a little bit cold but i want it to blow up more cold it took the whole can in about a minute so it shouldn't take that long to do. Let me go ahead and take this off real quick. So I took it off. Now I'm gonna untwist it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on real quick. All right, and make sure it doesn't come back up. It's still on the lower side of the build. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep doing it. All right, guys, so we went ahead and used that second can. Um, now if I put my hand here, it is blowing cold. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. AC vent is blowing cold. So my AC is finally working good. Make sure you put the cap back on onto wherever your high line is. I believe it's the high line that you normally have to use. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Literally took us like 10 minutes, not even. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little how-to video. Uh, make sure to go check me out on Instagram. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below if the video helped you in any way. With that being said, remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I'll catch you guys later.